So here's my project. It's called the Vertical Hydroponic Grow System. We're gonna grow lettuce and a bunch of other stuff. All right, here's a rundown. So here's a reservoir. It's got a bunch of water in it. It's got about 35 gallons of water in it. The green thing right there is a water pump. Water pump pumps water up to right here. Water goes across the black tube back there all the way up to the top here, all the way across the top. Goes into all these top, those little black tubes in the top. A little bit of water drips from the top all the way down to the bottom. Goes across the bottom, back into the reservoir. All right, let's check it out. So yeah, water pump, water. Hose comes out of the top of it. Over here to the back. So all the way up to the top. So all the way across. So here we go. Here's the first test. This is another test from some celery cut off. some roots on it and see what happens. So, there's about 60 spots. We might move them around a little bit. And I have a bunch of lights that I have that go in front of it. I'll show you in a second here. So I also have an air pump right here with some air stones to oxygenate the water. Make the water bubble. Helps the plants. So there's one stone right here. There's another stone over or at the inlet of the water pump. So it sucks in the oxygenated water. And then uh, this one mixes the water when it drops back, drops back out. Put a bunch of nutrients and other junk in here. So the other project is uh, these are called Dutch buckets. We've got, uh, I'm gonna do tomatoes in these, two different kinds. I'm gonna do cherry tomatoes, small cherry tomatoes, and then some beefsteak type tomatoes. Um, so there's a Dutch bucket. There's another reservoir on the bottom with the water pump in it. Uh, and it goes, same idea. <clears throat> Comes out the side, goes up to the top. Two of them, so this has water draining through it. Got that, I'll cut it down a little bit, but it'll be so you can hit the roots of it when it goes in there. Fill it with some hydrogen clay pebbles. So it's got a uh, Back here, there's PVC pipe that comes out. 
drains water, drains out, drains right. Back down there, let's see. 3D printed this. Nut pot. Down there, the PVC pipe comes in and goes down, lets it about an inch of water down in the bottom of the thing, and then the rest drains back. Have some lights that'll hang from the ceiling right here. Drop it down on some pulley things. Put it right down and then raise it up as it goes. It'll be kind of fun. So yeah, tomatoes, lettuce, herbs, a couple other things. So then to start it, I have uh, to germinate the seeds, I made the germination station. It's, uh, some lights, heating pad, um, the foil mylar blanket or whatever. Got them on Amazon. Wraps around just so then it's not super bright in here. I can put it down if I want or whatever. And then it's got the seating tray with the dome. It's kind of hard to see. It's got, this is what's about to go in the tower. A couple different kinds. Yeah. Go here for about two weeks. Then we'll go in the tower for about six weeks. I'm gonna do them in three towers at a time, so then we can just always have some. So, yeah, there it is. I'll uh, put the lights up quick, show you what that's gonna look like. There's 11 42 watt Barina grow lights from Amazon. Um, and then some two by twos that I built. They all have Wi-Fi timers. Um, I have three lights here on timers together. Four lights and then three lights and they're all on. So then if I only have a couple towers, I don't have to have them all on. Um, I can set them all with the app. And then I have another timer on the water pump, the air pump, and then a fan that just blows. The fan blows across so it's like wind makes the stem stronger and the leaves a little stronger and everything um, kind of simulates if there's wind outside. Um, but anyway, the water, it's a timer. The whole thing goes about 16 hours a day and then it goes dark, um, but this will run about, um, I think it'll be at 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off for 16 hours. We'll see how it goes, but I'll adjust a little bit and then the lights will just be on for 16 hours a day for ever <laughs> and then off so, yeah, so the lights move them kind of depending on where stuff is yeah so I'll do some updates as this goes I've been having fun I'll be putting in the first batch that I have one of those other lights today and then starting a new batch I'm starting the tomatoes today so yeah then the tomatoes will have the light up there that'll hang and then that'll be about the same because I'll try to keep it about the same so then it'll be dark in here from about midnight till 8 a.m. we'll see how it goes cool